question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Eagles and the Saints, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Caesars Superdome. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. And for how good he is throwing the ball, it's his running that makes him so dangerous. He had a couple of touchdowns on the ground in last week's game, so we'll see what they dial up for him for this one. So first and 10 now from the 30. Hurts throwing right away. Over the middle brought in by Dotson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. This defense for the Saints, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 and on the young season. It was a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. A look there at his numbers on the ground a week ago. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what, he understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. Throwing his hurts. Rolling to his right. Got him in. It's Brown. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. The Eagles at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 39. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Yeah, maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon they'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down good reactions there defensively that screen was a little slow in developing and they shut that one down with little gain from the 21 here's second and six hurts quick hitter here it's complete and he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. 
I love how you laid that out. So many options. You made me forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible, too. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. The Saints heading out for the first time, and there's Derek Carr at quarterback in his 11th NFL season now and second in black and gold. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stay on an even keel, doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. Reed Blankenship credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Play action, now it's Carr. Under pressure, and they got to him again. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Well, it's apparent that these guys are getting after it right from the opening kickoff. They roll right downfield and score on their first possession. And here on defense, back-to-back -back sacks. Someone is ready to play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And we'll get this one underneath to Kamara. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered, and then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch, and now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This will be fielded at the 17. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. From the 35, here's second down in the yard. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 41 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. But well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Hurt sets up to throw it. There's a screen with Gainwell. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles.
They'll drop to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. And, and that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Grant Calcaterra, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Kamara gets it again on second down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Card out of throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 94 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Well, first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was nothing to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. 
And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So this drive spans seven plays. And it's capped off by a receiving touchdown from Saquon Barkley. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll wisely just take a knee here. This ball will come out to the 30-yard line. And the Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. He gets this one to Johnson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Working from the gun, it's Carr. To the right side and intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. He'll buy some time right. And some room to roam now. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Offside. Defense. And with the big gain, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty. They'll look to throw here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll roll him out right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. It'll go as a sack and a loss of a yard, and it leads to a second and goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. One second, all that remains. There's Chris Olave. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll get started up at Cleveland Brown Stadium in Cleveland. And it's the Giants who have the lead as they approach halftime. The Giants trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. From there, we head down to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Three touchdown passes there for Jordan Love. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. 
As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Michael Pittman, a touchdown reception. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other has been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. And his drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Here's Carr to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, New Orleans. A big play there. 76 yards. And the Saints come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. That's caught. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. A kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early to have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way, it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. And he is going to have an Eagles first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. They'll set up a throw, sliding out of the pocket. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. From the 45 on second down, Hurts. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. And an eagle first down. They're going to look to throw. And he fires one incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Yeah. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. Rolling to his right. And he is caught. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. Back to throw again. He'll buy some time right. That's complete. It's Oku Obunam. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. To Barkley on the check down. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions step up and make those throws, and he did that. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Throwing his hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Two yards on the touchdown there. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Elliott on for the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. So that drive spans 13 plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no thought of bringing this one out. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll begin the drive at the 30. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. A gain of four. It's now second down. Six. Second down, and it's Kamara again. Now he's free at the 35. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Shotgun now for Carr. He'll find Shahid out to the right. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. From the nine, second and five. Is Shahid going to go in motion? Jet sweep. Car bats it forward. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it.
from the gun now on third down. Carr. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Sam Wilson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are able to cut into that deficit. He's got them out to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows... And this is going to be intercepted. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Well, the Eagles offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Up the middle with Barkley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Offside. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. So eight yards on the completion there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Nifty move. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 113 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Again, it's Barkley. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> we got control of this thing. Get it behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. 
Oh, the sneak gets hurt. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. Only a yard on the sneak, not enough. And he's a few inches short for fourth down. Oh, the sneak gets hurt. Trying to wedge his way in there. No signal. I don't think he got there. He did it. To throw, it's Carr. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Carr going to throw. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Well, this defense has been smothering all game long. Why not give them two more points here in the closing minutes? Well, they've certainly earned it. They've gotten the better of this offensive line for four quarters, and this sack here will just be a little icing on the cake. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that flag accepted. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. And they take a knee. And they'll indeed take a knee. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. Well, if you step back and look at this, CD, a pretty impressive victory. Not the best defense in the NFL they were going against, but it is a top 10 defense in this league, and they're pretty sound, but yet they found a way to get it done and get the victory. Yeah, I got to give them credit because I think their game plan was really, really strong for this one. They knew where they wanted to attack. They knew how they wanted to execute. And they did it with confidence and a little bit of verve as well. So for Philadelphia, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop.